Hi and welcome to Python fast food restaurant system. Okay, this uh, graphical user interface was developed using Python. So let me just show you guys how it works. I'm going to reset the system and uh, select that. Just enter how many fries you like, how many onion rings, then right here, how many fish, whatever, and here just enter the amount that you want okay all they need to do is just click on the total okay but in this case you must enter some amount in there let's say you are handling to the cashier 120 just click on that and you see your chain that's your change right there okay so you can then reset and just attend to the second customer let's say the second customer is only going for about six of those and five of these and that's that's all there is that the customer wants so you can either select or well, supposing the customer hand gives you a debit card click on debit card and there just add that up so what i'll do now is to take you guys straight into Python development environment and we'll put one of these together so let's do that now hi this is Python tutorial in this session I'm going to be developing what is known as fast food restaurant system so let's start by importing as follows then from TK inner I'm going to import it all let's enter a star there and I will also import I don't know, I might need the random, so let's import that. Let's import time that might be needed as well. Uh, let's go for let's say date and time as well. There, then I'm going to need as follows. Because I'm going to need a combo box, so I'm going to import that. Then the next thing is, let me give it a name. I'll call it root. Let's go for TK. Yeah. Then the next thing I want to do is, let me define the geometry of this root. So that's going to be geometry. That is to do with the size of my frame. So let me go for. 1350 let's say times 750 plus zero plus zero so what that means is the coordinate to be the width is 1000 and 350 the height is 750 why the coordinate is 0 by 0 that's that means it starts from uh, somewhere there all right now let's give this let's give this app a name so the title is going to be let's call it uh, fast food fast food restaurant Okay, that's going to be my title. All right. So the next thing now is let's define some frames, or maybe let's close this so that you guys see the title anyway. Let's close it for now. So to close it, right underneath here, I just need to enter root dot main loop there. Okay. So let's save this. Let's come to file and just copy all of this. I'll copy that, that's what I'll be calling it anyway. Save as and let's look for a location where I'll be able to support everything. I think I have something in here. There, why not? Let's save it right there. Okay, I'll just save it in here. So I'm gonna go for pi underscore there. So that is the name of my file. There. 
okay now the app is saved so let's run it and see how it will look like there we go guys that is just that's just right okay you can see 1350 by 700 that's brilliant okay so let's continue I'm just gonna close that now close that and get back to my program and right there I will now enter my we don't need some frames to take care of this whole process so let's start with let's call that top frame so equals frame so root okay that means the frame is going to be right inside the root so let's go for the width let's go for 1350 and the height maybe you know, something 50 between 50 and 100 so let's for now let's say 100 we can always change that and border equals let's go for maybe 12 and i would like it to i would like it to raise it up so let's go for raised right there yeah close that if i save it save my whole system and let's let's run it and see what i've done so far okay so we are not able to see that yet let's see because we need to actually pack it let's come here tops dot pack and let's say size equals right at the top let's make that capital letter yeah let's press ctrl s and press f5 to run it and see there we go guys so what i'll do now is to let me maybe i should enter the title there okay let me go for a title right there so the title will be restaurant management system okay right underneath here let me enter my title let's just call that LDL title okay equals label and the label will be right inside tops which is this very frame right there and enter a comma let's specify our font and that's my font there maybe use let me just set it for area area there I need one here as well okay comma um, the size of the font maybe go for 50 let's see what's going to happen with 50 and make enter a comma there and let's make it bold and close that what about the text in there the text in there that is going to be fast food restaurant let's close that and i think i should maybe anchor it or anchor it to the left no let's let's try it out first let's come down here and just pack it then we take it from there dot grill and I want it to be in row equals zero column equals zero as well equals zero close that all right so let's save and just see what we've done so far let's run it and see okay something is missing yeah that there's supposed to be an equal sign there so we save it again and let's try that out let's see that is how it looks like for now but i want it to go all the way so let's close that and make it go all the way 
maybe if I move it, add some space in here and some more space in here to give me, let's see, all right, okay, let's, instead of that, let, well, how about, let's just tab it, use a tab for it and see what will happen, let's say tab, another tab here, now let's go for one first and one here. Let's see what's going to happen then. Fire, save and run it. Okay. So I need some more space in here. All right. So let me just fix that. Then I'll get back to you guys. I think three tabs to this to the right should get that sorted. So let's see. All right. Okay, then with the three tab, I think that looks a little bit all right. So let's close that. The next thing is to add some frames to the. Let me just copy that frames below the tight uh, below the top frame so that will be known as because I want you to be at the bottom so let's just call that bottom frame and that bottom frame I will have to divide that so let's go for bottom frame or bottom bottom main frame Okay, because there will be some other frames within this bottom main frame, so I'm gonna copy that. Let's paste that in here. Now, the height of this bottom main frame, let's make that approximately 650. So 650 plus this, that's 750, and that will be right at the bottom. Okay. there yeah that should do it let's save and run okay I have my bottom main frame there just how I want it so I'm now going to divide this bottom main frame into three into three parts so which means I need some other frames to take care of that okay let's create our three frames so let me just copy this i'm gonna put it just paste it right underneath there so those are my three frames now they're going to be right inside the bottom frame so let's change all of this and that will be frame one so let's just call it f1 let's go for lowercase f1 there so the middle one will be f2 f2 then the far right frame that will be f3 those are my frames now let's change the width let's go for 450 each when you divide this that should give us 450 okay all right let's see what will how it will look like for now but we need to change this anyway let's change that to left i have left another one would be to the left I think they can all be left to left or this one make this one right alright let's save it control s press f5 let's see how it will look like now I have my three frames one two and three so f1 f2 and f3 that is good guys so let's close that now that we have f1 f2 and f3 inside f1 
I want some checkbox inside F1. And F2, I will have to divide that into two parts. Top and bottom. Okay, maybe we should divide F2 first. Let's divide F2. Copy F2. And maybe paste it right underneath F2. Let's everything up there. So F2 will be divided into two. One of them, maybe one will be the top one might be let's go for 250 and 200 and this is f2 top so let's enter top there then f2 bottom Let's copy that. Paste that in here. And they are right inside F2. So let's delete that. Let's enter F2 here. And repeat the same thing for this one. F2. I suppose you guys are following. Now, we need to reduce this. The height. Or the width should be 450 that's correct is the height that I was meant to change so the height let's make this one 450 and we make this 200 yeah okay now we need to change this let's change this to bottom and this one we change this to top so that should do it. Go to file, save. Let's run it and see. I'm right there, guys. You see my frame, top and bottom frame. Okay, maybe we can just add more to that, and uh, we can just make this 300 anyway. Let's make it three, and this one 350. Yeah. And maybe we change this to around 4 and 4. Save, press F5. Okay, that that is much better now. Okay, that's fine. So our frame is defined. Okay, before I add a checkbox, because I intend to add some checkbox here, here, and here. Let me declare some variables first. Let's come in here and enter. Uh, let's make it lowercase. Vi1 equals int variable. That is 1. Let's say Vi2 equals and variable and my variable number three equals and variable so I'm gonna speed that up so that those are the variables okay let's assign some value into this variable so we go for variable one let's set that so set we make that zero and variable two let's set that zero as well we'll just speed that up okay those are all my variables right there let's format that there we go okay i have 21 of those and uh, 22 of those i mean i'm gonna need more variables but for now right below here let's create our checkbox okay let's come down here and just enter the following so the first I want that to be fries so I'm just gonna call that fries uh, it, it equals check check button 
so and I want it inside F1 okay so comma what about the text on it equals uh, let's just call it fries that would be the text on it close that I need to close it here as well yeah now let's say comma variable in this case equals variable one comma and the value make that value equals one that means checked then let's say if not check the value in this case will be equals to zero all right so let's press enter the next thing is let me just enter my font font equals area i want to be consistent with the font so let's leave that as area let's say 18 and let's make it bold as well yeah that is for the font and let's close that here comma now we won't enter we will not enter any okay let's just close that for now and run it then we see it's just a grade that grade and let's go for row equals one column row equals one what about column do we need we do need a column for it and column will be zero yeah column equals zero because i'm going to need a text to the right of this one all right close that and i need a title let me just copy this title here i'm going to copy this let's paste it here that will be mail let's change this to mail and this will change this to mail as well okay that's a label we want it inside f1 and let's go for about 18 and then what we want to need i'm going to call that fast fast food meal then okay fast food meal and vegetarian or maybe fast meal and vegetarian okay there let's get rid of this I'm gonna get rid of this as well let's just say meal and fast food fast food and vegetarian okay fast food meal and vegetarian let's see how it will look like for now and that's column zero that's zero as well one and zero i'm going to save that run and save it and just see how it looks like okay oh that's that's wrong that's supposed to be a comma let's try it again all right there we go but we do have an error here okay roll one there's nothing like that let's see where did i have roll, roll equals one okay let's run it again there we go guys you see that but i want it to the left so let's enter something here let's say strictly equals west okay save run okay that's more like it now i then need a text box here okay let's grab a text box in place i want the text box right underneath so we're gonna call that text box txt fries that will be txt fries 
equals so that would be entry for the text box here and we want it inside frame one maybe just copy I want it right inside frame one okay frame one comma and the font I'm gonna copy all of this test it right here that's for the font okay if that's the font what about variable that's a text variable uh, equals v vi fries let's go for fries there I'm gonna have to declare that variable though because it's not declared comma what about my width let's say let's go for maybe something six we can always adjust that and justify let's say we say justify equals left well, I might not need that but let's see if it doesn't work we change it then the state I want it disabled so let's call that disabled that's in capital letter there now let's close that okay then we then need to we need to enter it in a braille uh, txc fries let's say dot grid we want it in row equals we want it in row number two we have this in row one row two and the column in this case is going to be column one no column yeah column one right column equals one this actually should be on row one here yeah. Row one, column one. Okay, let's close that. File, let's come in here, save, run, and see how that looks like. Okay, we have an error. What's the error about? All right, I need to declare this here. I should have declared it earlier. I'm gonna copy it though and come right here. Maybe. Okay, let's paste it right underneath here. Paste right there. And what data type should I use for it? Okay, I'll just call the data type. Let's go for string. Of course, I can also accept number in there. There. Okay, what about the value? Do I want any value in there? So, let's say dot. I think I want something zero in there. Okay. All right. Let's run it and see. Save and run. There we go. Just copy all of this. Just this. Yeah. Copy that. And this is supposed to be the title. Okay. So all I just need to do now is to change. Is to actually change the name of what I have on the menu so this will be txt salad so let's copy that copy that is the name salad and we have salad here and this one will be on inst rule one rule two why this one is two one that is fine okay and the variable the variable in this clip case will be variable salad equals as follows I suppose you guys are following okay so run this copy paste and now the variable itself let's paste the variable right in here the variable is salad there so 
let's go to file let's run it I mean let's see there we go okay we just need to change this to salad let's come back in there okay this is supposed to be salad in here checkbox that's the checkbox salad and when you click on this that will enable that that's what I intend to do and we also have okay that's wrong let's change the variable of that checkbox to number two that is two yeah okay that's one and two all right so I will now speed that up now that you guys get the whole idea, all I just need to do now is copy and paste. So copy all of this again. That will be my third one. And just change the names around. So let's pick that up now. Okay guys, i have finished with the first frame. Here are the lines of codes. And the variables, let me show you the variables that we declare for those. Those are the variables for frame one. And those are the codes. Okay, right here, I'm gonna I will start the second frame. So let's run it so that you guys have a look. And there, that is how it looks like. So I need some content in here and here. So let's pick that up coming down here frame 2 and we have the content of frame 2 that we copied from here okay so I'm just going to run it those are that's frame 2 I've copied everything in from 1 let's see how that looks like now let's come back in here and see what's going on okay i think the error here is is to do with the where the frame is meant to be so let's close that i think the frame is meant to be all right top okay let's copy that and we're gonna replace all of that here so this will be frame two as well from to top okay we're almost there now yeah okay now let's save and run and there we go guys so now that we know what we're doing, we can now speed it all up. So let's do that. Alright, this is how the whole interface looks now. I've completed all of these. The third frame and the second frame here as well. Okay, but none of them actually do anything. To what I'll do now is let me show you guys the whole code that make up all of this. It's coming here. I'm gonna take it from the top. So have a good look at it, and that's where I've imported all of those uh, libraries. Then here, that's my the definition for my framework, and here those are all of the frames. Okay, so take it down. Here I have all of the variables that I've declared and here I've assigned values, zeros to the variables. I have more variables here, there they are, and more variables, that's it, from there down here, there's more of those, up to here. There's going to be more variables anyway because it's a large program. And here I have assigned values to those variables. And here that's my very first frame that you guys saw earlier on. Have a good look at it. 
those are the lines of codes all you need to do is once you are able to put one together which you can just copy and paste now this is the second frame up to here the first part of the second frame okay and here I have the third frame right here that's the third frame up to here okay and right down here I then have the second part of the second frame here which is to the bottom really the bottom part of the second frame okay let's just give the name there frame 2 bottom okay and right there I also have in the second part of the second frame I also have the buttons okay I have the buttons there alright and here I just have new lines to sort of like move it up to move the button up for me but as you can see the code does nothing all I just have is uh, the component that I've put together so we will now work out how to put the calculation together so the next thing I want to do now is I'm going to enter exit here some lines of code for exits before I start to work on this very one and uh, I got a feedback from one of the previous fast food they would like to see the price displayed as well so I'm just gonna make up something here and uh, okay so right here those are the lines of code for the exits right there okay so I just maybe change that to fast food all right so when I run it let's save and run first and click on this you see that fast food right there no you don't want to exit yes you want to exit okay the next thing is you see right here where we have fries here I'm going to use that to try out the price so let's give that a shot here I'll just enter tab tab I think the price of a fries might be about maybe one pound twenty something like that I don't know that's that's all right so let's try that out okay right there that's the price of that but the other problem is I would like to maybe justify this right so instead of doing it individually I'm just gonna copy that and let's come to edit and let's replace all of that with this so that would make life easy for me instead of doing it individually so replace all there we go all done run the program and let's see how it all looks like you see they are all now justified right apart from this one maybe we need to reduce that okay that's that shouldn't be any problem anyway think it's in frame 3 so we're going to look for frame 3 and maybe reduce the width of frame 3 yeah maybe we reduce it let's reduce frame 3 width to maybe 4 just try one out and see how it looks like reduce that to about 4 run let's see okay maybe not all right I 
take it back to six and here maybe leave it as that for now just repeat that for this very one then we look for another solution for that okay okay and the other thing is it has actually reduced the size of this maybe I should move this let's move that back let's come back in here and get rid of one of those one of those tabs and then let me find and just make frame 3 what it was yeah make it all a lot justify right and hopefully that should do it okay that's fine okay so tab tab 2 so let's come back here I'm just I'm just gonna copy this across then let's go for the salad right here the price of the salad let's see how that's gonna look like maybe for salad we can call that maybe two pound two pound ten two pounds ten that's fine for the salad let's see okay that's not bad so I'm just gonna speed that up now that I presume you all get the idea Let's speed that up to make life a bit easy for me. Then what will happen is I will then multiply whatever is in here with this to get the overall total somewhere here. And let's see, we need oh, for the hamburger, we need to take care of that. Then let's see maybe if we reduce it to one okay all right so let's speed that up then okay guys this is how it all looks now the price are now displayed and that's how it's going to be so let's take care of reset button before we finally have a look at the total so the resets unlike when I click on this I like it to default all of this back to zero and when time I check on this I like this to enable the text box and also get rid of the zero okay so let's do that now okay let's create a function so that we can reset all of this. I'm gonna close that and let's look for let's see right here underneath there. I'm gonna create define let's call that reset there and since the default value is all zeros so I'm just gonna copy all of this this will be my reset and just paste it right underneath here there okay let's indent it select it all edit nothing format indent here yeah, that is one taken care of okay the next thing is we need to be able to disable the text box because we do have text dot state there this one so I'm gonna copy that and let's go up here right underneath the other thing with the first one is txt so let's copy this first txt fries paste that in there txt fries dot con okay and the state is going to be this so we copy that and we enter it in a bracket so that is the first default set for the text box so the second one is 
the TXT salad. Paste that and copy paste. Then we have the hamburger. this paste it there so all I'm just doing is working on my reset so we'll have a look at it that's the default the reset definition uh, the defined function for the reset for reset button really so we've done hamburger we now need the onion ring copy that paste that in there I'm going to copy the config and paste it there I suppose you get the whole idea to reset the text box so I'm just going to speed that up now as well ok guys the lines of code for the reset of the text box are all taken care of so let's take it from here and so that you guys see the rest that's it so all I need to do now is I'm just going to enter that into the reset button here right here reset so here let's enter a command we enter command equals reset and that is it although you guys want nothing will happen now if I save and run it's all zero anyway nothing is happening yet until I start taking care of all the all of these ones okay now exit is taken care of reset sorted and we just need the total so let's start work on the total itself okay in the case of the total I'm going to start by let's define a function here let's see let's come right down here just define a new function okay let's call it check check button that's the name of my function there I should be calling really so we use an if statement if variable one dot get equals one then we say txt fries dot configure And the state we want the state to be equals normal there then else let's say else the state will become Let's say else a state will become disabled so let's go for disabled right here yeah disabled all right so I will try this out if it works so I'm gonna copy that check check button now come to total right here that's my total button there we go then enter command command equals check okay let's save and running then we we take it from there really so that's command there should be a comma here all right let's do that again okay check there all right so that's fine but if so we cannot enter anything in there all right and let's see reset there that works okay that's fine 
but there's something I'd like to draw your attention to. I think the method I've used is wrong because if I check this, I have to click on total to give me room to enter value in there. That's not good enough. Supposing this checkbox actually take controls and this will only take care of just the addition. So what I will do is right in here, I'm going to copy this, this variable yeah that very that variable right there copy it paste it in here and let's say dot equals nothing and else if we uncheck we would like it to become zero yeah so that would be for the very first button yeah i think i'm gonna just do that for the first this very one i'm going to change it that would be the name now check fries so i'm going to copy that and right inside check fries here the check button fries right here let's enter command equals check fries and the check button here in total I'm gonna to get rid of that because I'll be using that for just total to add up the total or undo that yeah total I'll come back to that then this very one so when we click on the checkbox the text box should be cleared and this should be zero really yeah and disable so let's run it and see but make sure you call your command that's it right there so i'm going to run that and let's see what's going to happen so instead of using total i just click on this you see that guys i can then enter whatever value i want in there okay if i uncheck there it fall back to zero if i decide to just leave it like that i can always reset it with that so that's much better so i'm going to come in here i'll copy all of this and use that for the salad itself paste that in there and that will be salad so in the case of salad the value is two the variable is variable number two and this one is also solid let's change that to solid yeah we have our salad there and the salad does have variable salad as well that makes life easy right there okay now the command salad would be right inside the salad so let's copy this command and paste it right in here the comma paste and change this to salad there okay save and run there we can enter value right in there and right here oh we need we need to clear that let's see i think i've called the wrong name yeah i called the wrong name copy that paste that in there all right now give that a shot again yeah that's good and that's brilliant so we can then multiply this by this this by this okay right and just click on total all right that's fine that's much better let's see if this works with that that is good okay let's take care of this three here then now we speed it up now let's come in here i'm going to copy all of this maybe just copy all so all i just need to do is change the details there and this is going to be hamburger 
copy the hamburger and just change it around and there copy the same thing here and this become three three and this become hamburger yeah okay instead of fries here yeah, that should become hamburger as well change that to hamburger and this one becomes hamburger as well okay after the hamburger what else do we have but then let's get our command in place for the hamburger right here comma command equals hamburger yeah now the next one is onion rings onion rings come right down here there another one okay This is four variable number four. Okay, let's do the last one then, and, and I'll then speed it up and get it done. Okay, the last one after onion ring we have the chicken salad. That will be variable number five. One, five. Okay, so what is left? We need a command. Chicken, that's the command right here. Comma equals that. And the other one is the onion ring. So Copy that, and where we have the onion ring, comma, command equals onion rings. Okay, I'm gonna save and try this out. Let's, let's give it a try and see. Yeah, that's fine, 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 and that's fine too. So we can enter value in there. Okay, reset. Well, let's uncheck. Yeah. All right, that is fine. Reset it all. Okay, that's working as as we want. So what I will do now is just speed it all up and get back to you. All right, I've completed this. The function for the check boxes so let's scroll down then you can see it all take it from here okay and each of these functions were then called from the check box let me just show it to you all yeah all right up to here those are the functions so I'm gonna save save and run there we go guys so let's try it out when I click on this you can see the the number in there disappears okay so let's try it for all of the checkbox you see that guys let me see that yeah that's fine and if I uncheck you get the whatever value is in there is back okay all right that's fine so all that is left for us to do now is to actually write some lines of codes we we'll work on this total to add up whatever amount of 
item you intend to use like I have five here which means five multiplied by one pound twenty okay to work out this total I will let's close all of these and start I'll need to define some let's define some or just define one function here okay right underneath here just below here uh, we declare one let's create a function we just call that define cost of meal okay let's go for Alright, that's my cost of mail. That's going to be the function that hand, handles the whole calculation. I need all of these variables here. Because it will make life a bit easier for me. Oh, okay. Let's just come back here. We'll call it mail 1, 2, and 3. Mail. Mail 1. Okay, that's a local variable. So, we we end up and say the one equals float whatever we have inside the very first one I think that is value fry fries get okay so let me just verify if I'm right Let's see Where is it? Yeah, it's called as it that's correct. That is the variable. So the second one is going to be that. Okay. So for the second one, that's going to be mail to equals float dot get close that that's for middle two I'm gonna need up about 21 of those so maybe just copy and just change it around okay let's just number this that'll be three four five six okay guys I have added all of these variables into the local variable the variable here will include the cost of each meal okay it's right there now so the next thing that is left is we will now have to multiply this okay so let's see Thing before I continue I should try this out let's come in here you see this let's assign it into let's say variable total let's say dot set equals whatever is inside nil so maybe we should go for nil one plus meal two just to check if that's gonna work so let's call this inside total I'm just gonna copy that the name of that function and scroll right down here where I have my total here and enter a comma there and enter command equals cost of meal so let's run it and see what's going to happen so if i select this let's enter three in there so that should give me three right here that's good okay supposing i enter three let's say yeah okay three and four here that should give me seven so that is fine so that's brilliant okay 
so that takes care of total so the command to trigger the whole calculation is in place already and those are the three buttons anyway this one is just to create space okay let's take it down right here now we need to add all of these together but what about the cost of each item okay let's look at it if i run it i should be able to see the cost of the mill this is the cost of the mill that is two pounds let's just move it aside somewhere and minimize this this one is one pound okay so this one will become mill multiplied by 1.2 and the other one the other one is 2.10 so let's say multiply by 2.10 okay let's put them both in a bracket and I'll try it out if that works fine then we we just speed up the whole process okay let's run it and see what will happen in there so let's select two items there there that's not bad supposing I select another two here that is fine okay reset the reset everything works now I'm going to speed up the whole process of uh, putting all of these together so the next one is going to be meal 3 and this one is meant to be we need subtotal instead of total let's enter sub total there okay we'll leave that as total we just create another one for subtotal okay what we do is here I'm gonna take that off, cut that out. That was just testing anyway. I total equals all of that. Then I total equals I total equals that. That is for my total. Okay, well, we're going to need one for subtotal as well. So, subtotal. And we will also need another one for tax. Alright, but first, first and first, let's take care of all of these. So, let's add this together. Mill. Three. Multiply by the cost of mill three. Let's find that out. Okay, to make life easy, I have the cost of each meal there, so I'm just going to copy and paste. That will make life a bit easier for me. So that's the cost of that. As for meal three, maybe we should get it in bracket as well. Now we need meal four. Copy that and paste that in there. That is for number four. And four is one thirty right there. Okay. Okay, instead of long line of code, maybe I can just copy this and just paste it here for you guys to see. Copy, copy, and copy. So it's going to be just four of those, then we add them together. So, or maybe more. This is about 21. Okay, that will be total one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we have one to five, one to four there. Yeah. This will be five. Six, seven, and eight here. So we need the cost of 
number five is 350 this very one here copy that number six 360 seven paste and eight Just gonna need just one more 20 two more actually so I can put those two here yeah let's copy those two but we need one more 20 so just one 21 put number 21 here okay now we have up to nine Okay, we've got nine, we now need ten. Alright, you guys get the whole idea. So I'm just gonna speed up the the whole price process and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, we have all the price in place now. Okay. Now, what we need to do is let's go for tax equals let's add up all of these. That's total. Total one. Okay. One plus total two. Plus three, four, and five. It's four here. Okay, close that. So maybe I should just call this I tax or I cost. That's I cost in there. So that I can just use my I cost as or enter that here. Yeah, that will make life a bit easier. Yeah, I cost goes in there. So I tax equals I cost. We we'll multiply that by let's say the tax rate is about 3.4. Then divide that by 100. So that is the tax rate. So total is going to be I cost plus I tax there. So that should give me the total. That's fine. So that is all of my calculation taken care of now. But we still have to do one or two things. But first thing, let's save and try it on. Okay, we select whatever there. something here and maybe here select one or two items okay so let's try it out now just click on total there that's what we get okay so the tax rate we need to make sure we get that right I think that is wrong need to check that this is this I believe is correct so let's see what's wrong with the tax 
close that this multiply by this and divide it okay in the first place we don't have tax here let's take care of the tax here and just set tax in there right okay now let's go to uh, to our text box for the tax right here and check that as well tax nope that variable is wrong that's supposed to be tax right what about subtotal that is correct total that is correct okay let's try it one more time okay select anything there see now click on total we have our tags that cut this plus this give us this okay we now need to format it to pound sign let's take care of that okay this is how it all looks now I've formatted the whole process to pound sign you can see it right here there and that of the subtotal is formatted as well and I formatted that of the total okay then the change because you have to enter some amount for the change that is where that is where I have uh, formatted that or added those codes so that you can deduct the total cost from whatever amount you given and here else all I just did is, is copy everything here apart from that of the change else if the sales assistant select must uh, select master card visa card or debit card then you just carry out the calculation straight away without having to give out any change okay so those are the lines of codes for the total calculation have a good look at it let me take it up so that you see the the function itself that is where it, it all started that's where I declare all my variables and this is where I added up every single item here I had to use more than one local variable because it will be all the way which I don't want I don't want that to happen and that is it here okay and then those local variable I didn't add it together here to give us the subtotal here we worked out the tax and here that's the tax assigning to the tax text box until into the tax variable itself okay and uh, then we then work out the subtotal here total change is given else if it's this and there yeah, those are the lines of codes all right these are the design of the various component that i use the list box and the text box the combo uh, the checkbox as well so if you want to create something like this you're gonna have to watch the whole program so let's run it and you guys see what i'm talking about okay let's run the program now we we'll have to save it first and we'll run it there we go guys select whatever you want in the engine enter the amount in there 
Podium rings. Yeah, let's be a fine bug as well for all those. And chicken salad fish sandwich. Let's go for another chicken sandwich. And right here we be five ash brown. We need some of these orange. We need above. And we need coke as well. Vanilla ice, we need those. There we go. So this customer is giving us, let's say, she's given us 200 pounds. So we have to give her a change. So if we click on that, you can see that is the total cost. But you need to have a look at the tax, the tax plus the subtotal that gives us this and deduct this from this gives us that if you want you can always have to go at the master one as well but you have to click on reset and then enter all of those in there again so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you all enjoy it so you all have a nice day now it's been a very long tutorial so bye for now